You guys like hydrangeas, don't you? So do I. So recently I got a comment from somebody named Dinah, Dina, Delaney, Dinah, Dina, not sure which one. I'm sorry if I botched that, but we'll call her Dinah, Dinah Delaney. And I got a comment from her, and I've been getting this comment a lot lately, but I'm going to read her comment specifically. She says, Hi, I just found you. I love your videos. Thanks, Dinah. I live in New Hampshire. What is the reason my hydrangea only gets one flower? One flower? It's over seven years old. When it finally blossomed after five years, it only got two flowers. Two flowers after five years? I fed it, mulched it, and talked to it. <laughs> now I'm not speaking. Now I'm not speaking nicely to it anymore. Any ideas? Thank you. You know what? I really appreciate this question because I too have just recently learned something that I hadn't considered before because we live in this beautiful climate here in the Pacific Northwest where so many things do grow so easily. Yeah, that's my big secret. <laughs> so I just posted a video maybe two weeks ago and I'll post a link up here and I talked about, people were asking me why aren't my flowers blooming and I talked about the reasons, the two biggest reasons why your flowers aren't blooming. The two two biggest reasons I believe they're not blooming is because you're not getting enough sun and then you're not getting the right nutrients for them. Other than that, there's other reasons, but those are the two big reasons. And as I researched this, this hydrangea thing, because it was stumping me, people were coming on saying they just won't bloom. So I started researching it and I found your problem. I found what I believe is 90% of your problem. I believe this is your problem, Miss Delaney. Well, it's not your problem, but it's the hydrangea's problem. And the problem is, you've got the wrong plant. You've got the wrong hydrangea. I know it, I'm convinced of it, and here's why. Hydrangeas can do one of two things. They can either bloom on old wood, or they can bloom on new wood. And when the hydrangeas wood grows in the springtime and through the summer, it doesn't bloom on that wood if it blooms on old wood. Then that wood grows up, it hardens off, it lignifies, Johnny, it lignifies through the fall and then the winter and hardens off. And then once it gets through the winter, the blooms come on on that old wood from the previous year's growth. Now, some hydrangeas bloom on new wood and that's where the plant starts putting on new wood, it starts growing and they'll actually bloom right then on that year's growth, on that, that new growth that's coming up. So you got old wood bloomers and you got new wood bloomers and here's where the problem comes in. This is where it gets really interesting and it hadn't occurred to me before because I live in zone 8 and we can grow so many things here and we do get freezing temperatures. Sometimes it gets down to like 12 degrees last winter, but it only briefly touches that and then comes up and most of the winters are fairly mild. So we can grow a huge range of things in this area. But here's where the problem comes in with hydrangeas that bloom on old wood and new wood. If you live in New Hampshire, I mean I've never been to New Hampshire, but doesn't New Hampshire get super, super cold? you might live in an area where the hydrangea you've got blooms on old wood. But when it grows and puts that wood on in the spring and then goes through the summer and then through the fall, when you hit winter, all of a sudden that old wood dies. And so if it was supposed to bloom on that old wood, but the old wood dies back to the ground because you live in a super cold climate, then it's never gonna bloom. After five years, six years, after a hundred years, it's never gonna bloom because you live in a climate that's not right for that hydrangea. Does that make sense? So what you need to do then is you need to find a variety of hydrangea that's gonna bloom on new wood because that old wood's gonna die back to the ground every year and then the new wood will come up and it'll bloom on that new wood every year. Whew. I think that's the problem. I really believe that's the problem. That's the big problem. That's the answer to your question. And not just your question, but so many people's questions about why their hydrangeas aren't blooming for five, six, or seven years. So it was just a little interesting fact. And I thought it was pretty cool, and I'm glad I learned it, and I hope you guys are glad you learned it too. Unless you already knew it. I hope you liked the video, though. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. You've been standing